Prime Minister. Uh, yes, Humphrey. Um, <clears throat> there's something I want to talk to you about, something very secret. Um, would it um, be easier if I wasn't here? <laughs> ago there was a security inquiry. Does the name Sir John Halstead ring a bell? Yes, of course. In fact, I had to conduct the inquiry myself virtually. And you didn't find evidence of anything incriminating? Of course not. In the first place, John Halstead was one of us. We'd been friends for years. In the second place, the whole story was got out by the press. And in the third place, the whole object of internal security inquiries is to find no evidence. <laughs> Even if the security of the realm is at risk? Oh, Prime Minister, if you really believe the security of the realm is at risk, you call in the special branch. Government security inquiries are only used for killing press stories. They're to enable the Prime Minister to stand up in the House and say, we've held a full inquiry and there is no evidence to substantiate these charges. What if you had found something suspicious? Well, Prime Minister, practically everything that happens in government is suspicious. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you asked Bernard to leave us alone for a secret conversation might be construed as suspicious. Indeed. But in any case, the whole story was quite clearly a nonsense. Typical Fleet Street sensationalism. So there's no possibility that Sir John Halstead was passing secrets to Moscow? <laughs> Impossible. Out of the question. You'd stake your reputation on that? Without hesitation. I see. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you that for a substantial part of his career, he was a Russian spy. I don't believe it. <laughs> Who says so? He does. He left all his papers to the government, including a detailed confession. MI5 says it's absolutely true. Checks out all along the line. But, but good Lord, he, I mean, he, he was... One of us. Exactly. <laughs> well, this certainly leaves a lot of questions to be asked. Yes, and I'm asking you the first of them. Why didn't you ask him a lot of questions? <laughs> and why did the inquiry exonerate him, and so quickly? Well, I've already told you. Anyway, we were very busy. But besides... <laughs> Good Lord, you don't think... I mean, surely nobody suspect... What else was I expected to do? You could have held a proper inquiry. After all, you had evidence of his surprisingly long stay in Yugoslavia. Yes. And shortly afterwards, several MI5 agents behind the Iron Curtain were rounded up and never seen again. Yes. He spent a lot of time with one particular interpreter. And she turned out to be a Russian agent. Yes, we knew that. Most Yugoslav interpreters are Russian agents. <laughs> Those who aren't with the CIA, that is. <laughs> you never followed it up? But I had better things to do with my time. Three months later, she moved to England and settled in Cambridge. 150 yards from Sir John Halstead's own house. They were neighbours for the next 11 years. Crikey. <laughs> you can't check up on everything. You never know what you might find. <laughs> I mean, if you've got that sort of suspicious mind, you ought to... Hold security inquiries? Yeah, no. <laughs> John gave me his word, Halstead. The word of a gentleman. Anyway, Humphrey, I have a problem. Problem? You. Me. You don't think. You couldn't think. I, I don't speak a word of Russian. <laughs> well, you must admit it was either incompetence or collusion. Collusion! I give you my word, Prime Minister, it wasn't collusion. The word of a gentleman? Exactly. An Oxford gentleman. 